Action. After Jesus was born, his parents moved into a house in Bethlehem. One day, some wise men arrived from the east. We are wise. We are guys. We are a bunch of wise. Ah. Hello, Harry. Ah. That's King Harry. Oh, hi, King Harry Head. I'm not King Harry Head. Oh, are you bald? What do you want? Where's the baby who's been born King of the Jews? A baby? You're looking for a baby who is king? Yeah. A baby king? Yeah. Where are you, a bunch of wise guys? Yeah. We are wise. We are guys. We are a bunch of wise guys. Oh. We saw a star glowing in the sky and we come to worship him. Worship him? Yeah. Well, as you can imagine, King Herod was not too happy to hear about that. I am not too happy to hear about that. After all, he was the king, and he didn't want any Jewish babies taking over his kingdom. So he calls for his Bible teachers. There are a bunch of wise guys here. We are wise. We are guys. We are a bunch of wise guys. Who say that a new king will be born. Where is the Christ supposed to be born? Well, that's easy in Bethlehem, just like the prophet said. Bethlehem, huh? Yep. Okay, then. Anything else? No, now get out of here. Okay, don't get fussy, King Daddy. And that's Herod, King Herod. And then King Herod called a secret meeting with the wise men. We are wise. We are guys. We are a bunch of wise guys. Yes, yes, yes I know. <laughs> Listen, when did you first see the star here? Well, it was a while ago. Well, okay then. Oh, so. Oh, so. Oh. Don't worship baby. He's about to him. He is cool. Now, when you go and find him, come back here so I can kill. I mean, come and worship him. Go and worship him. So they left the king and the star appeared to them again. Star light, star bright, I see that star again tonight. And it led them to the place where Jesus was. Hi there. Um, and Jesus, your majesty, they bowed low and worshipped him. Jesus is the king of all. Jesus is the king of all. They opened, they opened up treasure chests and gave him and his mother gold. Why, thank you. Incense. You're too kind. And myrrh. Myrrh, what myrrh? It's a proper and gum resin that's extracted from a variety of vegetables that forms in Arabia and East Africa. It's often used for the production of Various types of colognes. How do you know that? We are wise. We are guys. We are a bunch of wise guys. Oh, I see. Then they left by another route because God had warned them not to return to King Harry Head. That's King Herod. I am King Herod. <laughs> like I said, King Harry Head, because he wanted to hurt Jesus, but those wise men listened to God. And do you know why they listened to God? They were wise. They were guys. They were a bunch of wise guys. Yep. Yeah. The end. I am glad that you came to our when your peace and your love. We will go and then.
package. And then the second one to go into the room.
seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere filling the air. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. On and on they send, on without end. Their joyful tone to every home. Ding dong, ding dong, that is their song. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. The Oh, how they pound, raising a sound, all hill is down, telling it. Gay that they ring while people sing songs of the cheer. Christmas is here. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Merry, merry, merry Christmas.
up after your livestock? Well, here it is, the magic shovel. Notice the metal scoop. <laughs> now you will not have to worry about cleaning up after your, your animals. It can be yours for a low, low price of just three pieces of silver. Yes, just three pieces of silver. And, you know, if you call in the next ten minutes, I'm gonna give you this free magical bucket. This this will make uh, your your work much easier, two times two times easier than before, and twice as fast. Let me go over one more time. You you get the magic shovel. You get the magic bucket. If you call in the next ten minutes, all for a low low price of three pieces of silver. <laughs> for the night, but I'm on the lookout for the sounds of a new baby. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me, have you found a place to stay, or do you own a house here in the city? Actually, I own my own place just outside of town. Have you opened your home to anyone who is arriving in town tonight? Well, I would, but my whole extended family is here, and we just don't have enough room. Me and my wife are going to have to sleep on the floor for the next few days. Well, I better be going to the market now to stock up on some food before we run out. My, those people can eat you out of your house and home. Thank you, sir, for your time. There's always an excuse. Oh, look, here's another person. Excuse me, sir. Have you found? Have you opened your house to anyone who is arriving in town tonight? Sorry. What? I want a mouse in my house, let alone any of those people. They expect you to feed them and their animals and give them a clean bed of linens. I'm not a hotel. Let me guess, you and your camera are looking for a place to stay, too. Well, forget it. I only have a two-room house here in town. I don't have room for any of these people. Wait, no, sir, we're not looking... Okay. Well, here's one more weary-looking person. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me, have you found a place to sleep for the night? Well, yes, I have. Sir, do you know if there are any rooms where you're staying? Why, yes, I have. I... No. No... They had no room since yesterday afternoon. I took their last room. Would you ever give your room up to someone else who really needed it? No way. First come, first serve. Thank you for your time. Well, seems like no one has any room for, to give for tonight. Oh, look. Here's the couple off in the distance. Let's see if they found a place. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me? It looks like you've been traveling for quite a while. You look very tired. Have you found a place to sleep for the night? No, we haven't. My wife is nearing the end of her pregnancy and she needs to lie down. We have traveled quite a long distance from Nazareth and, well, this donkey is quite old and very slow. No one would even help a pregnant lady? No, but we have one last to check. I hope that doesn't happen. May God be with you. And also with you. Donkey, turn around and go out. May I help you? Sir, we need a room for the night. My wife is pregnant and about to give birth. 
Ever get tired of your sacrifices running away from you before you even reach the temple? Yeah. So come on to crazy house. I have everything you need to make for sacrifices. The sacrifices that you need. I have the firstborn of everything. Why buy them at the temple? Why bring them to the temple when you can just buy them at the temple? And remember, if it's not from Crazy Owls, it's probably not clean enough. Here, sippy, sippy, sippy. Thank <laughs> you. 